Your dog depends on you for food, shelter, access to birds, and emergency care in the field. If you don't carry the stuff that'll keep him safe and ready for another day of hunting, who will? Let's spread out a little, Doug, so just in case it goes cattywampus. Good dog. Oh! Go ahead. Now I carry a small kit in my vest that'll get us back to the truck where there's a bigger bag and between the two of them we should be able to stop most bleeding, prevent most infection, make minor repairs, stabilize the dog in most situations and then if you need to get him ready for a hell-bent for election ride to the veterinarian. Now I'll touch on each in this video, but if you want all the details, including a list of the essential gear, check it out right here at MidwayUSA.com. So the little kit that's in your vest won't take up much space, hardly weighs a few ounces, but it could possibly save your dog's life. The goal is much like a NASCAR pit stop. Get him back into the hunt or a trip to town for more care from a veterinarian. So let's take a look inside, which is really the outside. These are so important I keep them readily available. The first is Benadryl or some other antihistamine. That will reduce the swelling in your dog's throat should it get snake bit or stung by a bee. These are advanced bleeding control. They're gauze that will stop bleeding on many wounds. Probably the only good thing that came out of Vietnam. Inside, a little bit of everything, from some adhesive bandage to some antibiotic ointment. I always carry distilled water to wash stuff out of my dog's eyes or to wash gunk out of a wound before you do anything else with it. EMT gel is a must-have. I've probably used up two or three of these tubes on other people's dogs, horses, and themselves. A pair of hemostats, pulling porcupine quills, cactus spines, the cat's meow, pardon the pun. In this little plastic bag, I've got some cotton swabs, some more antihistamine, and some, some fire starters. Of course, hidden back here, some gauze, gauze bandages, duct tape in a bright color so when I drop it I can find it again. All of those things will come in handy. I'll have the entire list at the website MidwayUSA.com. Now here in the truck is a much more extensive bag full of stuff that I can use for everything from more first aid to stabilizing all sorts of injuries and wounds to just convenient stuff. Remember, our goal is just to get the dog ready to go to the veterinarian with as little damage as possible. So let's see, let's start here. All the extras to replace the stuff in the small kit. I have a hot pack and a cold pack for hypothermic or overheated dogs. This is where you store the extra antibiotics your veterinarian gives you and you haven't used up. By the way, I also try to carry a little bit of a dog sedative called gabapentin, just in case you do need to get serious in the truck or in the field in a dog that's a little bit anxious to begin with. Cooking spray, not for lunch, but to put on your dog's pads to prevent ice balls. Yeah, it works like a charm. Um, if you got a real ticky or flea-y situation, a little bit more insurance, a spray-on flea and tick spray of one sort or another. I also carry hydrogen peroxide. I don't remember anybody really using it on a wound, and the veterinarians kind of poo-poo that now. But 
to induce vomiting if a dog has swallowed something you don't want him to swallow this is the way to do it and finally I do carry another antibiotic this is a powder called Neopredef and it's very useful because it will stick to the wound and because it's dry a veterinarian can then come back later and do some suturing if they need to you know a wet goopy wound with uh, um, uh, antibiotic ointment in it is hard to handle and it's hard to stitch finally one emergency dog boot just in case yeah I'll put the entire list of what's in this bag at MidwayUSA.com as well you know <laughs> oh there's also a bell in there so if we're hunting in deep woods I can put that on his collar but you know everything out there can cut irritate bite poison scratch or somehow damage man's best friend I'll never forget my first porcupine encounter well Bill's first porcupine encounter you know the definition of a good friend one who will hold your dog when you're pulling porcupine quills carry the right gear and you'll keep minor problems minor and minimize the major ones and get to the veterinarian as quickly as possible if you want more just check out the videos and the articles right here at MidwayUSA.com.